Guests, welcome to today's BB14 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Mr. Bob Jr. 50. Surprise! <laughs> um, so we're out of house guest of the day. So uh, Mr. Bob Jr. 50 always leaves the nicest comments on our videos. So you're the house guest of the day. Um, with that being said, if you haven't been house guest of the day yet and you would like to, you should send us an email at madrosd at gmail.com or a private message on YouTube because we have a couple days left in this season. I, I guess it's a week exactly. And um, I don't want to have to start making inanimate objects house guests of the day. I'd rather make you guys house guests of the day. <laughs> um, just being honest. But yeah, so send in your requests. If you have already been house guests of the day, don't be selfish. We can look it up very easily, so don't be like that. All right, uh, so I have a short show for you guys today because the feeds have been out. Uh, because tonight's eviction was not actually live, it was pre-recorded, so they completely blocked out the feeds um, since yesterday. And as we saw on the show, Jen was evicted by a vote of two to zero, and then Danielle won the HOH competition. It came down to her and Dan, and... Um, after a tiebreaker, she won, which is crappy because they're playing by Price is Right rules and CBS. And um, Dan was way closer to the number, but he was over, so he lost. But anyway, the feeds should be back later tonight, uh, probably after the show airs on the West Coast. That's usually how they do it in this kind of situation. And hopefully by then, we will know who's on the block and... Uh, when we do know that, I will put it in the info for this video, so check back later if you want to know nominations. And if you don't, I will put it in tomorrow's spoiler. Faux show. Alright, so there will be another live eviction tomorrow, and all I'm thinking is, is there any way we can get rid of Danielle? <laughs> Seriously, because it's going to be either Shane, Ian, or Dan. Those are the only other options. So Ian did get his final four. Whoa. His quack pack final four. So that's exciting. Um, I'm worried about Ian this week. Unless he wins this POV, I think he's going home. But you never know what kind of crazy stuff Dan is going to pull. Um, it'll be interesting to see who Danielle puts up in the first place. If it's going to be Dan or Shane on the block. Because you know Ian definitely will be. But uh, I think it'll be very telling who she keeps safe from the get-go. It really doesn't matter until after the veto anyway, but it's kind of like a symbolic thing, I think. So, um, I was going to do something fun tonight, but I decided to save that for the last spoiler of the season. So, it's going to be fun. Just watch the last spoiler of the season. We'll watch all the other ones too, but definitely watch the last one. Um, so yeah, I'm going to throw this question out to you guys tonight. I want you to put in the comments what you would like to see next season if, hopefully, there is another season of Big Brother. I'm going to tell you guys what I want. For Big Brother 15, I want a fresh cast, all newbies, um, and I want it to be almost like a back to basics kind of Big Brother. Okay. So, back in the day, uh, they used to have peanut butter and jelly as the, like, basically the slop. So, like, the punishment food was peanut butter and jelly. I think that was hilarious, and I think that that should be the punishment food again. Um, not the slop business. And also, they didn't have the power of veto, but I think they should keep that, because I think... It adds a lot more excitement to the game. So keep the power veto. Um, I don't want to see too many special powers. I don't really think it's fair when they're just like randomly dropped into the game. But um, I just think like overall a back to basics theme would be really fun. And they could like decorate the house all retro. And I think that would be really cool. Um, almost like a 70s or 80s vibe I think would be exciting and awesome to look at. Uh, take note, big brother. But yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. I think 
The biggest thing for me, though, is that I want to see all new house guests so that everyone has a fair shot. I don't want anyone to, like, know each other um, because that always screws things up a little bit. Do you guys like my blanket shirt? Anyway, <laughs> that's what I want, but I want to know what you guys want, so leave it in the comments, and we'll have a little discussion via YouTube comments. And until next time, much love. Yeah.